Hiya, I'm Lizzie from Pippin and Gile. We teach bushcraft and foraging skills and we have woodlands in Mid Wales, the Bracken Beacons National Park and South London. Today I'm going to teach you how to do fire by friction using the bow drill. So this is your fire bow set. You've got the bow on the right, the flint just above the hearth board, which is the sort of flat thing in the middle. That is made out of lime. You've also got the hazel drill in the centre and a small little ember pan there as well. So what we're doing here is we're just creating a little divot in the hearth board for the drill to get bedded into. Okay, we want that little divot to start us off and then we're going to bed the whole drill. We're waiting for the whole diameter of the drill to be bedded into that hole. Okay, and I'm just working that through there. The flint also has a little dimple in the top that sits into the top of the drill. Okay, can you see how the drill is on the outside of the bowstring there? That gives us a maximum efficiency. So I'm setting everything up nice and carefully and starting really slowly. Okay, and as I go, the drill's sitting very much at the top at the moment and the smoke is just beginning to start as we go. We're not trying to get an ember though, so we're not going to try particularly hard. The drill's now seated in really nicely, so we're about to stop. There we go. And the next thing we want to think about is collecting all that black powder we've created. So we're going to cut a notch. This notch wants to be about an eighth, about a pie slice. So I'm just marking out my notch and starting to cut it. It's really important to make sure that the notch doesn't go over halfway. Okay, well, it needs to stay just shy of the centre line, otherwise you end up making a cone. So we can see that notch nice and clearly. Again, we've got a cold set, so we're going to start nice and slowly. We won't be expecting the smoke straight away. Okay, but it will come and we'll start collecting that black powder into that notch as well. So now I've got the smoke, I've increased my speed a little. And I'm now on my final throws, that notch is full, I've increased my speed once again. Okay, once I'm happy I can see smoke coming out from inside the notch, it's time to stop, waft it, really get the air into that space. Now I want to lift the hearth board off, so I'm going to do that just by tapping the top of my knife to hold everything still as I do, and place it to one side. I do not have to rush now. That ember is nice and steady and will stay there for a bit of time. So I've got time to get my tinder bundle together. In the very, very middle there, I've got some reed mace, followed by straw, and then some goose grass to help hold it all together on the outside. I'm now going to scrape in my ember, being really careful not to spread it out at this point. So I'm going to fold it all in, and you do not want to see the ember feels a bit backwards but it is really important to trap all of that heat inside so I'm just starting the breaths the first breath you won't have any smoke okay so keep going at it it's important to breathe in when you move the tinder bundle away from you and now we have fire turn it over so that you've got the fuel on the top and congratulations you have successfully created fire by friction now it's time to put the kettle on and make yourself a well-deserved cup of tea.